This is Robert Hutchinson. I'd like to take a moment of your time to tell you about my new book. It's called The Dawn of Christianity, How God Used Simple Fishermen, Soldiers, and Prostitutes to Transform the World. In essence, this book is a journalistic retelling of the birth of Christianity. It fills in many of the details left out of the New Testament, details that we know from archaeology and non-biblical sources. For example, archaeologists announced just in 2015 that they had finally discovered the remains of King Herod the Great's lavish palace near Jerusalem's Jaffa Gate. They now believe that this palace functioned as the Praetorium, or Roman military headquarters. This is important because for centuries both scholars and ordinary Christians assumed that Jesus of Nazareth was tried and sentenced at the Antonia Fortress on the northwest corner of the Temple Mount. The Romans used this outpost as an observation tower to keep watch on the hundreds of thousands of religious Jews who poured into the Temple Mount area during festivals. But the discovery of Herod's palace means that most scholarly reconstructions of Jesus' trial and the Via Della Rosa, or Way of the Cross, are now obsolete. Archaeology has also filled in many of the details of what happened to Jesus' followers in the years after his death and resurrection. For example, the Via Recta, or the street called Straight in Damascus, has been completely excavated. This is the street mentioned in the Acts of the Apostles where the Apostle Paul is directed to visit after a blinding vision of the risen Jesus on the way to Damascus. So, I urge anyone interested in early Christianity or in Jesus of Nazareth to consider ordering my book. The publishers and I have come up with some great bonus gifts to make it worth your while, including a abbreviated digital copy of my last book, Searching for Jesus, New Discoveries in the Quest for Jesus of Nazareth. You can find a list of these bonuses on my website, roberthutchinson.com. Thank you for listening.